lunchtime in an ordinary street, in an ordinary town. But in this town lives an extraordinary person. This man's name is Neil. Can you guess why he's amazing? Does he have the loudest yodel in England? Nope. Have a look at him. Well, maybe with other people. You see? Neil's the tallest man in the UK. He's 232.6 centimetres tall. That's half a metre taller than your average British man. He wears size 15 shoes and he weighs 159 kilos. Being tall makes Neil very popular. Look at all these people. See how happy they are. Even the traffic wardens want to be his friend. No parking tickets for Neil. You know, my brother's six foot nine, my sister's six foot three. Um, you know, my grandfather back in the old days was, you know, six foot seven. So it runs in the family. Hang on, these window cleaners need some help. I'm just naturally tall. The top of that window has never been so clean, and he didn't even break a sweat. Well, mind your head. Neil is unique, but as you grow, it's the bones in your legs that will make the most difference to your height as an adult. They will grow at each end, and your individual DNA will tell them how long to grow. It's nice to be different, and if you use your differences to be an advantage, the sky's the limit. And Neil should know he's a lot nearer the sky than we are. Now that's amazing. Back at the Elchmobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Next patient, please. It's double trouble, cousins Rhea and Cyrus. So, guys, what brings you to the Outsmobile today? Me and Cyrus are both the same age, so 12, but I am a lot taller than him. What's the diagnosis, Doc? This sounds like a serious case of me and Cyrus are exactly the same age, 12, but I am a lot taller than him, itis. But don't panic. Now, let's see how much taller you are. Can you stand up? Cyrus, do you want to stand up next to Rhea? So, this is how tall Rhea is. And this is how tall Cyrus is. You're about a head shorter. Yeah. And you're exactly the same age. Yeah. Have a seat. So, what do you want to know about this? I want to know why boys have their growth spurts later than girls. We don't know why boys start later, but girls can start kind of age 10 to 12, and boys tend to start more like 12 to 14, 15. So that's because your body starts releasing a hormone called testosterone. It's testosterone that makes both boys and girls have this sudden growth spurt. What's it like being shorter than your 12-year-old female cousin? Um, it's beating up all the time. Ugh, <laughs> man. I remember that. I remember getting beaten up by girls at age 12. Thank you very much, Dr. Chris. That is a real pleasure. If you haven't had your growth spurt yet, don't panic. Everyone's different. It will come. Clinic closed.